Okay guys, so welcome back. We're gonna try again with the chameleon cells. Bunch of different colors now. I have the Axtine Purple. Oh, this is like a Heinz 57. It's like a, a robin's egg blue. For the most part, it's like bright aqua green, thalo green, hands of yellow. I think some white, but the ratios are all, I, I couldn't even tell you. Metallic orange, neon orange by Artist Loft. This guy is quinacridone magenta, copper. The difference between this pour and the one I did the other day is this one has the glue and the gloss in it, which is what I've been working with. No colors have silicone, okay? Uh, my tools, I got kind of creative with some shish kebab skewers. I don't know if it's going to work. I have a small circle and a larger circle. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of making this up as I go along, so I have no specific orientation to how I'm doing it. Gold, I also have like a burgundy that I made, which was alizarin crimson, quinacridone magenta, and dioxazine purple. I also threw in some purple flash color shift. I'm all about metallics and color shift. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I can't help myself. <laughs> Anyway, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, but I also added Quinacridone Azo Gold to it and some Hansa Yellow. So it gave it like a warm white in black. Okay. So I'm just going to do a puddle of silicone. I don't want to use too much silicone because one thing, let me show you my piece. Okay. Now I messed this up the other day. My gold was extremely thin, so you can see where my gold was, it it spread, okay? And I knew that was going to happen. Like, I, I said to myself, man, I should thicken the gold. And I was like, you know what? If this is my trial, trial run, we'll just see how it goes and then modify it for the next time. So, as you can see, <laughs> my boyfriend said, it looks like you skinned a crocodile. And I was like... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, it's my cool little chuckle. But anyway, anytime I'm doing like tutorials and testing out new stuff, I either use photo paper or tiles. The, the kind that I use is high gloss waterproof photo paper. And I love it. You know, I either put it in a frame, I seal it with resin, you know, I glue it down to something and then seal it with resin over top. It totally works for me and then a tile if I don't like it I just take it outside and hose it off or I'll sit it in a bucket of water and it'll soak through and get underneath the acrylic and then I can just wipe it away and start over to do something like this okay and then widen it this way You can always take your finger and grab a hold of the paint and roll your finger and that will always spread your paint for you as well. Yeah, like that. And then let's bring it down again. I probably should have spread it the other, spread it, it did. <laughs> spread it the other colors first before I started doing this, but it is what it is. I want it to be some contrast. So let's do some orange. Whoa, did I just, I just did that, didn't I? Oh my gosh. So I was thinking about, let's do white on this side. I have a lot of friends in San Francisco, especially now that I've been pouring and I just heard about that earthquake. Guys, I hope you're all right. I know that's some scary stuff. burgundy uh, 
some questions I had about the mix the other night. Paint and water. All right, that's what I used. I was going for a Dutch pour initially, which I did, actually. I have that too. I'll show you that real quick as well. So this was my very first official Dutch pour. Allie, Allie Jones, I think her name is, fully. But she's known as Chameleon Jones Art on Instagram. She was actually the first one who came up with the idea of the chameleon cells. As much as I would love to take credit, that's just not the type of person that I am. So, I mean, I do have my own method. I did use my catalyst, and I did figure it out before she officially told me, you know, how she did it. But, um, you know, the inspiration totally goes to her. Alright, so I know this looks crazy right now, but, you know, we're getting ready to swipe it, so it's going to look different, hopefully. That's what we're at least going for. Now I'm going to give it a torch, because there is a lot of air bubbles in here. I do recommend doing that first. The photo paper, I have, I have um, electrical tape rolled up in, as like a wheel, and that's holding the photo paper onto a piece of cardboard that is also wrapped in saran wrap. All right, I'm happy. I got that out of my system. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what is she doing? This is just so overkill. But now I was thinking about the center out. Let's do that. I, I haven't done that yet. Scared money don't make money, right? So I'm coming down the center with my black. So I've got two paper towels here. And I have my water. So I'm going to wet the paper towels. And I'm going to wring them out. I'm going to dip it in the black. Like that. Then I'm just going to pull. Right? That's one. Grab this, I'm dipping it in the silicone, right? I'm shaking it off, and then boom. 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 able to see a pattern awesome let's do it again one right here and one right there right and I'm gonna grab just like how we did before right like that okay we're in just pull Okay, I'm actually going to add a little more silicone to my lid, and then just go for it, like that, 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 like it again. That's crazy! Oh my god! So I actually, I was thinking about something. Like, let me... So let me coat it in silicone, 
Then I have some of that, that blue here on the table. There you go, boom. All right, so we have this big, you know, strip of black with stuff that really doesn't seem to want to play. So I can try to line it up. This is probably really stupid, but you know, why not? Let's see if that second go around did it. Maybe not. Wait a minute, let's turn this down way low. Let's see what happens. Maybe. Look, it's coming through. Hmm. I'm just gonna stop. Absolutely. I am so gonna stop. That is so cool. Let's get you guys in for the close-up. Shish kebab skewers, guys. Shish kebab skewers, um, electrical tape, rubber bands. There is a marker in there. I don't, know if you can, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but that's how I roll. I have to, why do I have paint on me? What did I touch? Does that ever happen to you guys? Like, you know you got paint on you somehow, some way. You don't know where it came from. But yeah, wow, oh my gosh. I probably took way too much here, but hey, like I said, no complaint. This is glue and gloss, so it really allowed me to modify the cells the way I want to, because nine out of 10 times when you do a swipe, cells are coming whether you want to or not. And the cool part is, is I've got like cells on the outside, but like right here. Let's get you into the close up. But like, look, you got little cells in the inside and then the bigger cells on the outside. Like, that is just awesome. Wow. That is so cool. There's not another painting like this one. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Let's see how close I can get you without it distorting. See, I really wish this could come through more, but you know, it's a work in progress. I probably put too much black in the center. I'll try again next time and not add as much black or, you know, not as much paint into the center. But there you have it, guys. Okay, so uh, we're about 80% dry with this piece. A couple of the things that I have learned uh, from this piece as opposed to the first one is like this flower right here has no crazing to it. A few of these do. And the reason why is because when I stuck my shish kebab skewers into the silicone, I was dipping it right into the paint, like here, here, and so on. This one, I actually dipped it into a paper towel first and then hit it right here. So if you look at it in the light, you can see some of them are crazed and others aren't. And so for the next time, I'm definitely going to do that. I also recommend using um, some type of tool that doesn't have a very broad tip to it so the skewers had a really you know like pencil point tip maybe like the back of a sewing needle something that isn't extremely pointy but you know so you don't go through your canvas or whatever you're doing but something with a fine enough tooth to it like I was thinking about using a comb and I'm kind of glad I didn't because the silicone would probably be unbelievable with it but 
you know, these you can get at Walmart. And I mean, the tips are just extremely, you know, tiny. And I just had a thin layer of silicone in the lid. So it wasn't like I was submerging the tip of the skewer into the silicone. But ultimately, I'm extremely happy with this. I think it's really cool looking. These look like they're glowing. Like the photo just does not do it justice at all. So I hope you like this piece and uh, stick around because I got a couple more ideas headed your way. And thanks for watching and subscribing. So have a good night, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video you just watched. Here's three more choices to click on some more videos of mine. One being the playlist of my 2019 pours and then some of my most popular videos. So if you click on them, it'll load right up. The circle res inspired button right in the middle bottom of the screen, that automatically subscribes you if you like my content. And if you ring the bell below the screen, you won't miss anything and be notified as soon as I upload the next video. Thanks for watching.